Good afternoon, Bishop, lay leader, conference secretary, and to all my brothers and sisters before me. So I am not going to give a report. I'm going to invite you to find item number six. It's on page 46. This is the recommendation for the 2022 minimum salary. While you're finding that, I'm going to um, make a special plea to all of the uh, members who are um, lay members particularly. Uh, you, each one of you has somebody in your congregation from this body that will be part of the staff parish relations committee that will be looking at setting salaries. You've probably already received these numbers this year, so I'm speaking to you for next year to remember that this is minimum compensation, which means you can't pay people less than this. If they're less than full-time, you take a, a, a corresponding proportion, but this is the lowest amount you're allowed to pay because I still have people confused by what the word minimum means. <laughs> I, I'm speaking truth. So just don't make your pastor tell them you can't pay me less than this, okay? If they say, I don't think we can afford a raise, tell them this is the minimum we're allowed to pay. And I also want to say that none of our pastors are working minimally. So if you can afford to pay more, please do so. I will lift up that the minimum compensation is being raised by 1.4% as found in the um, Consumer Price Index West in January of this year, and that will be consistent with the amount of raise that has been occurring. 1.4% is not necessarily appropriate for all areas of our conference. There are some areas where the cost of living has increased dramatically. And so while you use this as a guide, I would also encourage you to look at your own local sources to see what the cost of living has gone up in your area. So when you give your pastors cost of living increase, it is proportionate to what they are actually experiencing. So the resolution be it resolved that the minimum salary for full-time clergy serving as pastors in the charges of the annual conference for the calendar year 2022 shall be set forth in column 2022 below for the clergy's years of service. The cash salary includes all salary, social security payments, and any tax-deferred annuity or discretionary furnishing allowance. The cash salary does not include housing costs. And so if you look at the chart below, you'll see the very far right-hand column says 2022. And so it starts with one to five years of service would be $44,480. And then down to 15 years of service would be $50,000. $40. This is the recommendation that comes from your Equitable Compensation Commission. <laughs> 